Hi, I'm Rena with Pike Nurseries, and today I'm going to show you how to grow roses. Fun fact you might want to know, we grow most of our own roses at Pike Nurseries Farm in Marietta, Georgia. So all of our roses are grown to strict standards to ensure you're already taking home the best quality plant that's already been acclimated to this region. There are many types of roses to choose from, so we suggest you ask yourself four questions before deciding what to choose. Number one, do you get enough sun? All roses need full sun, so be sure to place them where they get six to eight hours of direct sunlight per day. Number two, how much space do you have? There is a great variety in roses growing habits. So they grow from climbers that reach 12 feet or higher as you would put over a trellis to a shrub rose that can reach six feet wide and tall to compact options that only grow two to three feet. So whether you have a giant landscape or you just wanna fill a couple of pots on your patio, you can find the right rose for your space. Number three, do you want a fragrant rose? Many but not all roses are fragrant. If you want that traditional rose aroma, you'll find this information on the signage or you can ask an associate for help. What colors do you like? Roses come in every color under the sun, including beautiful bicolored or multicolored options. So pick your favorites. For beginners, we think that the knockout rose or the drift rose is one that is more low maintenance. These shrubs grow prolifically. They're very hardy in this region and they can tolerate tough conditions. Let's talk about planting. In our region, January and February are the best times to plant roses when they're dormant, but they can be planted year round. You want to dig a hole that's twice the width of the pot your rose came in and the same depth also. Be sure to amend the native soil and break it up with a good, good planting mix to loosen up the clay and improve the drainage. Roses need a rich, well-draining soil to thrive. Add a handful of starter fertilizer to jumpstart the root growth. And if you're using a biodegradable pulp pot, place the pot right in the hole. Now let's talk about watering. Roses need regular watering, especially in their first season while their root system is establishing. Check the top inch of soil for moisture. If it's dry, you'll need to water supplementally to keep the soil evenly moist. Always water right at the soil level at the base of the plant. Never spray the leaves or the blooms because this can cause disease, especially in our humid summers. We recommend using a drip irrigation system or a soaker hose connected to a faucet with a timer on it so that watering will be more efficient and easier for you. Applying a layer of mulch over the soil will also help retain soil moisture. Now let's talk about caring for your roses. Roses are heavy feeders and they will benefit from regular fertilization. Of course, use a root starter when you're first planting your rose and then starting in the spring, when the plant starts leafing out, use a rose fertilizer about every six weeks like Dr. Earth Rose and Flower Food. It's a great one. An ounce of prevention is really worth a pound of medicine when it comes to roses. So you want to keep them healthy by properly watering and fertilizing. But if that doesn't work, Use a liquid systemic like the Bonide Rose Systemic Drench or the Organic 3-in-1. These products will prevent insects, mites, and diseases like powdery mildew and black spot before they start in our humidity. And now you're ready to start growing your own rose garden. Remember, all roses at Pike Nurseries are guaranteed for life so you can plant with total confidence. Visit your Pike Nursery to talk to one of our certified plant experts and let us help you start your own beautiful garden today.